Okay, I damage Kanatani. Get Kanaximatsimach Boa. It is the morning of August 24th, 2017, in the lunar cycle Pakipis Totsit HB. And I'm out here on Heritage Road, gonna try something a little different this drizzly, windy, smoky morning. <laughs> Actually, for maybe the past three weeks or last month or so, um, every time I pass one of these little Lethbridge library installations, I've been checking out the contents. You know, if I walk past one and there's a few in my neighborhood and there's, uh, there's quite a few of them throughout the city now. So I've been stopping and I've been looking in the books to see if there's anything I'd like to read, if I'd like to, if I'd want to participate in the library. And um, I never find anything because, I don't know, it seems to me like the quality of books in there, a lot of them might be the kind of books that somebody's just a little happy to let go of, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it's just my perception. Um, but that that's biased because there's, there's very few things that that I actually like to read. I'm not a big reader. I, I really prefer direct experience. Um, and I know the difference between, right? And so, <laughs> but, there, but there are certain topics uh, that I will read about, right? And so I, I'm always looking in these little libraries now. And last night, passing by this one on Heritage Road, I finally found a book that I thought was worthy of checking out. And it's a, a really nice quality book. Somebody was, was generous in donating it. Um, it's called Buried by Ken Wiley. And this is a nonfiction book about a group of 13 cross country, or back country skiers in British Columbia who were buried alive by an avalanche. And I, I don't think they survive. I'm not sure. I, I'm not familiar with the story. But it piqued my interest right away because um, it kind of deals with two different subject areas that I'm, I'm always interested in and things that I will read about. Um, one of those things is survival. I mean, even if these 13 die, it's a, it's a survival kind of a situation. Um, they made some decisions that got them into a situation where they died, right? So um, I, I prefer, in terms of survival literature, I prefer actual um, successful survival stories because then, of course, you get to see the decisions that were made that, that did help somebody overcome uh, the danger. And it reminds me of, like, old Blackfoot war stories. That's what they were all about, is Gamotan, escape from danger. And, um, you know, the little decisions that you make that get you there. It's important information. But even when somebody doesn't survive, uh, there's sometimes lessons to learn in the decisions that they made that brought them to that point. So survival literature is something I'm always, I'm always keen to, uh, to read. It also, of course, touches on another subject that's of interest to me, which is how people perceive um, so-called wilderness and nature and environment and these kind of things. Like, I'm looking forward to reading it because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of discussion in there about um, these kind of perceptions, the thoughts that we have regarding um, the environment outside of our walls of our little home nooks and stuff. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, and of course it's a system where you take one, you leave one, right? In order to participate in the library, if you got to take one, you got to leave one. So I went through my shelves this morning and uh, picked out actually a couple of books. I'm going to leave, I'm going to take one, leave two. And in fact, when I'm done reading, um, reading Buried, I'm going to, I'm going to bring that one back um, to the library I took it from, I think. So yeah, so I picked out two um, two titles that I'm going to leave and um, they're, you know, I looked in, I looked for books that were, you know, of high quality, uh, equal quality at least to the book that I was taking and then, um, you know, interesting topics that somebody is going to want to read. Books that I can part with, you know, that I've already gone through um, or in one case I have double copies of but all the same good quality books, right? 
And so what I've chosen to uh, uh, to put into the, the library here is going to be George St. Pierre's biographical The Way of the Fight. Um, this was a, says New York Times bestseller. And it's another subject matter that I like to read is, is, uh, is um, uh, competitive fighters, both boxers and, and MMA fighters, um, biographies and, uh, you know, what motivates them and, you know, how they've done in their careers, the decisions that they've made that brought them to the places that they got to. And George St. Pierre's was certainly interesting. Um, I, I put some of my reviews of this book online a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, it's time to donate it because I'm not gonna read it again, but it's a good read. Uh, the other book that I'm, I'm putting in there is a little bit different, hey, for, for a little public library book, I think. That is a, a field guide to the mammals of Alberta. Um, I teach ecology and phenology courses in the coolies here, and uh, when I'm funded to do so, <laughs> I buy field guides for the students. And uh, this is one of the field guides that I get for them, is the, uh, the mammals, and I just happen to have extra copy of this one, so I figured I might as well throw it in there as a, as a second uh, donation, because you know, I don't need two copies, and um, and somebody might be interested, right, in reading about reading about the mammals. So yeah, I'm I'm donating these two, and then I got to thinking, you know, what would be really cool <laughs> about this little little public library system, this little Lethbridge library system, is if it worked kind of old-fashioned style, because I noticed, you know, now that we've entered the digital age. Part of the fun of picking up some books in the libraries when I was growing up was that you could go in the back of the book and you could look at the, um, you know, the the card, the checkout card, <laughs> and you could see who looked at that book before you, right? Um, and it was kind of fun to see to know that you know somebody else, maybe you knew, had looked at that, had checked out that book before you, and you could see, you know, who checked it out five times, you know, because they really, really were interested in it, in it and stuff. And you know, I think we can combine the digital age with that old-fashioned style, um, or at least I'm gonna I'm gonna try to advocate for that um, because what I was thinking is, you know, people who check out these books or donate these books c could. Uh, could indicate as such on the back cover and um, then you know if you see somebody who has a common interest with you you might want to look them up on Facebook or something like that turn to the digital that way and maybe make friends with common interests something like that so what I've done uh, with the two that I've donated is I've gone to the back cover and I'll show you I'll show you this I've gone to the back cover and I've made a little checkout card just drawn it in I put donated to the little Lethbridge libraries by Ryan Heavyhead 24 August 17 and then I made a little chart or started a little chart with the name the date checked out and the date in <laughs> I don't know if anybody will use it but uh, I thought it was a, a fun thing to um, to include in my couple of donations and uh, see see what comes of it <laughs> anyway yeah I'm gonna go over here and put these in the box and um, and I'm gonna probably be you know doing more with these little libraries as time goes along I'm certainly gonna continue to um, look into the ones that I pass by on the street and see if there's any content I'm interested in and uh, participate if there is and then once I read the books I probably do book reviews you know um, because I like to <laughs> I like to do things like that so all right let's put it in there hey there's a couple of books So, and 
this is Heritage Road, the, the, the cross of uh, Heritage Boulevard, Heritage Road in the Heritage Heights neighborhood for anybody who might want to check out one of those books.